How you doing? You sexy thing. I'm in love with the cocoa. Oh, I'm in love with the cocoa. And we're talking about coconut oil. What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about my 10 uses for coconut oil. I have been obsessing over coconut oil ever since I um, read up on it and saw how many amazing things that you can benefit from coconut oil. I was like, what? So I started um, Googling, searching in Pinterest and I actually found other amazing things that you can do with coconut oil and I've actually put it to the test and I have been loving every single one of them. So I wanted to share with you guys, um, coconut oil has been around for years. Um, it's pretty much a very natural, it's a very natural, I would say it's the most natural medicine that you can use for a lot of things. You can use it for beauty, you can use it for cooking, you can use it for health wise. I mean, it's amazing. Coconut oil can do amazing things on the outside of your body as well on the inside of your body. So let's get started with coconut oil. The coconut oil that you must use for everything that I'm about to um, talk to you about is the pure unrefined organic coconut oil. You can find coconut oil that is pure and unrefined at Whole Foods and Publix if you have a Publix around you. But I saw that a lot of people can find have Whole Foods around their area. So I highly recommend going into a Whole Foods and picking up coconut oil. So coconut oil, it's some of some come in the actual oil form. Some come in this white um, consistency. Come in this white consistency, as you guys can see right there. Oh, and it smells amazing, like no lie. It just smells so good. So I'm going to start off and tell you my 10 uses for coconut oil. So first off, I use it in the morning as my mouthwash. Uh, it's called oil pulling. This method has been around for years. This method is amazing for your mouth health. Honestly speaking, it does so many things. What does it do? It helps with bad breath. It helps with any bacteria on your mouth. It helps with whitening your teeth. It cleans, it cleans your teeth like into like a deep cleaning type of thing. You can place a spoonful of coconut oil. You can either use it straight from the can or you can melt it and you put it in like a little cup, melt it and actually put it in your mouth like you do mouthwash and you switch around, you swoosh it around your mouth for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. And if you can't do 20 minutes at first, you can start with 5, 10, 15, 20 until you actually get to 20. 20 is like the actual amount you need to be able to do that and it's called oil pulling and that's what it's doing it's pulling all this nasty gunk out of your mouth and it maintains a healthy smile it maintains a healthy mouth maintains healthy gums and it definitely freshens your breath and after that Throw it out either on the toilet or throw it on the trash because you don't want to collect up your sink because it hardens once it becomes in contact with cold water or any surface, any cold surfaces. And um, brush your teeth. Do not replace coconut oil. Do not replace oil pulling with washing your teeth, brushing your teeth, or flossing. It has nothing to do with that. That is just an extra method that you can use to better your mouth health. First makeup remover, oh my god, ladies, honestly, grab a cotton pad, a little bit of that oil, and the waterproof mascara and the mattes not move anywhere liquid liner that you wore last night, it is definitely going to be removed in a heartbeat. And I absolutely love it because it smells good, and I'm not only removing my makeup, I'm actually doing good to my skin. The coconut oil moisturizes your skin, and it helps your skin, like, there's no tomorrow so you're not applying any chemicals to your face you can use which one you like but honestly if you want something natural and you want something that you have in your pantry I recommend removing your makeup with coconut oil it's gonna definitely help a lot and it just smells so good the other thing that I use it for number three is actually a lip scrub you can grab the brown sugar and the coconut oil and you mix it together and definitely your lips are going to love it because you're not only scrubbing but at the same time you're applying something that is good and it's actually going to help moisturize your lips as well and let me tell you tastes amazing so please do not go eating your lip scrub <laughs> you can grab a little container and you can put it in there put a cap put a lid on it and you can use it constantly so i absolutely love it and you don't have to spend so much money buying a lip scrub number four number four <laughs> that I use it for is as a, you can use it as a body scrub. You use this as a body scrub, you can use kosher salt or you can use a sea salt with it as well. Or you can use the brown sugar, you know? But you can use uh, sea salt and you can use it as a body scrub and it 
will feel amazing. You are removing all the nasty layers of uh, dirt or whatever and you're also bringing some moisture to your skin because the coconut oil is going to help seal the moisture into your skin and let me tell you it is not nasty it smells amazing ladies it smells so good your husband lady is going to want to be like mm, let me get a piece of that other thing you can use it for shaving cream <laughs> shaving cream it smooths my legs like there isn't any tomorrow it just leaves my my legs so smooth it's not even funny i love it and it definitely it's, um, it's just when you know that you're using something that is good for your body, but also you're getting the effects that you, also you're getting what you're looking for. It's amazing. So you can use it for shaving your legs. The other thing is for the hair. You can use it as a leave-in conditioner. You guys already saw that I did a hair mask, but I mixed in a whole bunch of things. But just the coconut alone is going to help seal the moisture into your skin into your hair it's gonna bring shine into your hair and it's gonna restore your hair so you can leave it on uh, unshampooed for about an hour and then you can shampoo your hair and then you can remove it or you can use it as a leave-in conditioner meaning wash your hair put coconut oil on it leave it for a while and then rinse it and that's it and your hair is gonna smell amazing you're just gonna feel like you're in the tropics like you're in the Caribbean because your hair smells like coconut oh amazing also it kind it repairs it repairs split in it's not going to remove your split in you just apply a little bit of coconut oil on your hand and you apply it on the ends of your hair and it's going to bring shine and moisture to your ends and it's definitely not you're definitely not going to see like the split ends right away especially if you have light hair your split ends can you can see them a mile away you grab a little bit of coconut oil and you put it on your ends it's going to bring shine into your hair and it's definitely going to look a lot healthier believe me I've been trying it and it works amazing. You can also use it as a lip balm. Um, if you want to put like a little bit of moisturize to your lips and you don't want to use a lip gloss, you don't want to use something that is too sticky, but you do want a little bit of shine, you can use it as a lip balm, you can use it for shine, and also it definitely brings a lot of, it definitely going to moisturize your lips. Yes, baby. And if your husband, again, if your partner likes coconut, then kiss away, baby, kiss away. <laughs> And you can also apply coconut oil to your lashes and to your um, eyebrows. It's going to help with the growth of your eyebrows. It's going to help with the growth of your lashes. And it's going to make your lashes look a lot fuller. And it's definitely going to make your lashes look so cute. And honestly, I have tried it. I have applied a little bit of coconut oil into a mascara, a clean mascara wand. And I've applied it on my lashes. And I'm going to tell you, it looks so natural and my lashes look a lot longer and a lot fuller and i don't have to wear mascara or anything like that i like to wear basically when i'm going to sleep just so i can look a little bit pretty so i just put a little bit of that on my lashes and a little bit of, of um, coconut oil on my lips so i'm doing good at the same time i'm smelling good and i'm looking good hello who wants to go to bed looking like a hot mess i do that sometimes and last but not least, it's amazing for cooking. So cook away, you can use it for anything. And I'm telling you, coconut oil is amazing. If you don't have coconut oil in your pantry, you need to get in your car and you need to go get coconut oil. Amazing benefits that you have to try it. So if you want to get a full detail of what else you can use it with, why is it good, um, where you can mix it with, what you can do with it, just pretty much I'm going to put some uh, links down below of exactly where I found this information, where I took off from it, and just a little more information so you guys can know what coconut oil is about and let me tell you coconut oil i gotta give it a thumbs up so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see any more informative videos of things that i use why i use them for all you have to do is let me know give this video a thumbs up and if you really like this video please let me know in the comments below so i know that you guys liked it so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you use coconut oil and what you use it for. If I didn't mention it on this video, because I would love to give it a try. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. Besotes, be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye.